Sorry, what was that? I said, well, that went down like a lead balloon. Yes, yes, it did, rather. That was scrumptious. <laughs> it feels loved. What do you mean, loved? Well, I mean the opposite of when you say, I don't like this place. It feels spooky. I don't ever say that. We have to work together. We can do something. I have an idea. No, I am not interested. Well, let's have lunch. Hmm? A child has been lost, but you still know, we know. his age, his birthday. He's 11. You make it sound easy. Well, it can't be that hard. So, what are you in the mood for now? Overseeing his upbringing. We do it right, he won't be evil. All good, he'll just it's be normal. It might work. Um, are you sure this is the right place? Oh. Thank you. Hello, Aziraphale. I've never eaten an oyster. There isn't anywhere to go. It's a big universe. Oh, no, no, don't do your magic act. Please, please, I'm actually begging you. You've no idea how demeaning that is. Either this all ends up in a puddle of burning goo, we can go off together. I mean, not to be. Come on, Hamlet. Buck up. What's for lunch? What would you say to some crepes? Go off together? I like to think none of this would have worked out if you weren't at heart just a little bit a good person. That was very kind of you. Shut up. I don't need you. And the feeling is mutual, obviously. Angel! I'm sorry, I apologize. Whatever I said, I didn't mean it. Work with me, I'm apologizing here. Perhaps one day we could, I don't know, go for a picnic. Dine at the Ritz. And if you weren't, deep down, just enough of a bastard to be worth knowing. <laughs> <laughs> Godfather. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> it's not that bad when you get used to it. <laughs> <laughs>